manage positions so you create your positions just like jobs in your uh, organization and uh, then link your previously defined jobs to that okay so let's go to fusion cloud applications and i'm going to show you there so here i'm in oracle fusion cloud before we proceed ahead let's look at the release and version so we are on release 13 with a version of 23d okay so i'm going to close this and i'm going to jump on to setup and maintenance and then i will go to the search task and i will look for position okay And then here is the task that you should look for manage positions so click on this particular hyperlink to define a new position you click on this plus icon create and start defining it from here so i'm going to change it to 49 and business unit so i have two business units orange chocolate business unit and Auckland and orange wellington business unit and what's the position name so i would say chief financial officer and then hit the next button and here i'm going to choose the department so let's say starting with or okay so or finance and then the job again starting with or and here is the job okay chief financial officer and optionally you can choose a location and manager then you come down and as you could see this uh, full-time or part-time regular or temporary this has been populated from the description of job then hiring status is uh, approved and uh, then you come down and enter other details which are optional okay and then there are country specific information as well so once you're done then you hit the next button to review all the details if at all there is any evaluation criteria and then you hit the submit button okay so that's done likewise i'm going to create a new position and this time again i will create for orange business unit and i would say or but purchasing manager hit the next button and then you choose the department so okay so the purchasing department isn't coming we need to see why so you know what I'm going to cancel this and I will come back and let's quickly check why the department is coming. Let's first see the job. So, our procurement manager and Then I will add it in correct mode and look for this date. Okay, the date is correct 1949. I'm going to cancel this. Hit the done button. And then I will look for department.
Okay, so looks like the purchasing department. We haven't renamed it. So let's rename it and make sure the start date is starting from 1949. So this could be the reason. Yeah, that's the reason why it wasn't coming. So we we'll click first January 1949. Append it with OR and then review it and then submit it. Okay, once it's done, you hit the done button. And then let's come down and look for job again. And whether it's position is there or not. So manage positions. And then you search. Or in fact, uh, you can click on the new one and uh, choose the business unit and name or Equipment Manager. Hit the next button. And this time, hopefully, you will have it. So, this department should be there. You see, now it is coming. And then the job. So, our procurement manager and optionally location manager, assignment category, and so on. Okay. And I'm going to make this as approved. And hit the submit button likewise we'll define one more position of a buyer for Auckland business unit And then I will choose the department as who are purchasing procurement manager and uh, I'm gonna make it as approved okay then I will hit the next button hit the submit button okay so I have to find three jobs one as a uh, CFO and second is a procurement manager and third is a buyer. Likewise, I will define remaining jobs of mine uh, on a date by basis. Alternatively, if uh, if it is taking too much of a time, then you can consider using the spreadsheet functionality wherein you can create all your positions in a spreadsheet and upload it all at once.